Hi, I'm Brooks. And I'm Laura. And thanks for coming to Lindy from the Ground Up. In this video, you'll be learning a little history and, of course, the swing out. If you have more experience with other dances or similar related swing dances, that's going to help out a lot. So in this very playlist, if there's other videos you haven't gone over yet, go and check them out. Let's start with some history. According to Frankie Manning, one of the original Savoy Lindy Hoppers, Lindy Hop came out of three social dances that were done in Harlem in the late 20s. The Charleston, the Breakaway, and the Collegiate. I couldn't find any vintage footage of the Collegiate. If you know of any, you let me know. When people think of swing dancing today, they may think of something wholesome and tame, but Lindy Hop was revolutionary and kind of scary. After a visit to the Savoy Ballroom, Jewish novelist and humorist Leo Rostin wrote, men lifting women way up, throwing them down, flinging them over their shoulders, tossing them over their heads, hurling them into arm's length, yanking them back, shaking them like wet muffs. Hands flew out in all directions, waving, flaying, stabbing the air. It was a surrealist nightmare. Otis Ferguson, the unofficial jazz critic of the New Republic, wrote a kinder description of the dancing of the Savoy. When the band gets pretty well into it, the whole enclosure with all its people beats like a drum and rises in steady time, like a groundswell. You cannot see everything at once, but you can feel everything at once. A sort of unifying outflow of energy, and you can almost see it burn. A hopeless, intricate mass of flying ankles, swirls, stomps. Really beautiful dancing. The most iconic move is the swing out, and it sounds to me like that's what a lot of these people are talking about. All right, let's get started. Let's start with the basic rhythm. We're gonna clap it out first. Brooks, lay down that beat. It goes up. And now with your feet. And that's the basic eight count rhythm. If you need some more time with us, we have another video where we go over just the footwork more. Link is in the description. So now the shape of the swing out. A lot of newer dancers want to learn the swing out in a day, and we, your teachers, want to give that to you. But the swing out is not a move in a day type move. Here's the thing. It was incredibly rare for any dancer back in the day to only know Lindy Hop. The inventors of Lindy Hop danced for years before they ever even saw a swing out. They did foxtrot, waltz, collegiate, breakaway, Peabody, Charleston, as well as various solo dances and unnamed dances from house parties for years. And then they took all of this knowledge of movement and applied it to the swing out. So in the absence of years of jazz dancing, let's start with some movement that will build into a swing out. Follow along, the rhythm is still the same. Rock step, triple step, rock step, triple step, rock step, triple step, rock step, triple step. I've waited long enough, my sweet, for just three words. As both partners get more comfortable, see if you can change the rotation and direction. I could never guess it, what's your name? Wouldn't you confess it? What a shame, we have never met before. Let's add open position. It starts on the second rock step. What foot is that on? Notice what hand we hold on with. And what hand does Brooks grab my back with? In what direction do we rotate around each other? Now let's see it at tempo. Open your heart and let me in. Well, what's your name? Don't you want to tell it? What's your name? Tell me how to spell it. Now's the time. You should have a name like mine. Oh, baby, please forget and tell me what's your name. So that's the basic shape of the swing out. You got the rhythm, you got closed position, you got open position. However, Brooks and I do one more thing that we feel make our swing outs look more like the vintage clips we love so much. Note, 
I did not say the right way to do the swing out. That last thing, the leader moves such that the follower doesn't rock step. Let's check out the swing out from a few different angles. Remember, the rhythm is the same. You got a step, step, triple step, 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 triple step, 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 triple step. Or with counts, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Of one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. If we break it down nice and slow, notice that Brooks moves down the line and then redirects with the rock step on his right foot. Then he moves down the line in the opposite direction and redirects with the rock step on his left foot. When does Brooks move past me to catch me in close position? Almost immediately before I even get close to him. I'm attempting to move in a straight line towards Brooks until the act of him triple stepping in the opposite direction catches me and redirects me. He swings me out. Then I try to move away from Brooks until the act of him moving in the opposite direction catches me and redirects me back in. A loop. For both of us, the rhythm doesn't deviate from the eight count rhythm we learned at the top of this video. It doesn't sound like it'll work, but instead of trying to go around each other, go through each other. If both partners really concentrate on their own individual lines, the swing out becomes much easier. question I get asked a lot is, when does the leader's right hand let go of the follower's back? The short story is five-ish. The long story is there's a moment that feels right. Kind of like when you throw a ball. Not too early, not too late. Try it out and find out what works for you and the people you dance with. Okay, let's swing out together. At first, we're gonna stop between swing outs to celebrate the victory and regain our bearings. Well, what's your name? I could never guess it. What's your name? Wouldn't you confess it? What a shame we have never met before. Well, don't you see? Everything's in order. Stick with me, mama's little daughter. Sweet and free, who could ever ask for more? When you feel comfortable, don't stop. Just keep on moving through. All this time, from now on, please be mine. I don't care where you've been. Open your heart and let me in. For this practice, we've been swinging out in open position. But you can also swing out from closed position. Notice the last half is exactly the same as the swing out from open. In the first half, instead of rock stepping, I back up while Brooks gets in front of me. And there you have it, the swing out. As previously said, it's a complex move, so it's gonna take more than watching this video once to feel comfortable with it. Swing outs vary a lot. There are huge differences in timing, energy, pulse, quantity of rotation. In general, I think Lindy Hop is a lot like the jazz that it's danced to. When talking about playing music, Wynton Marsala said, it's not complicated, but it does take time. I think Lindy Hop is the same way. Just keep going.
And that's the swing out. Keep practicing, you'll get it. If you want some extra, those twists I do at the end are called swivels, and I have an old video breaking those down, linked in the description. We also have videos for leaders and followers to improve their swing outs. We express our opinions and we don't teach a one true way. I hope you had fun and learned a lot. If you did, click like and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm. It's one of the best ways to support us. If you're looking for great music to dance to, Laura's put together a playlist of swing era music. It's down in the description. If you like the music that you dance to in this video, it's the Brooks Promo Orchestra, and you can find a link towards that in the description as well. And if you want to support the people and culture that created this dance, we do too. 50% of the money we get from this channel goes towards organizations that support African diasporic artists and art. And the best way to learn how to dance is, is to dance. dance. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs>